What is up, guys, and welcome back to another episode with me, Link to Killer. And I may or may not have made a boo boo. So I did a thing. And I thought I was recording, but I didn't record it. So I made a screw up. <laughs> so if we look over here, I have the fusion fissure reactor and turbine already built. So I kind of made a mistake. I'm sorry. I, I don't. Oh, oh, yeah, that's right. I forgot that thing's super uber loud. But um, I don't know how to justify. So I think what we're going to do is just discuss what I did. And um, I'll put a link in the description down below to uh, Rage Plays Games. Because it's pretty much a co uh, copy and paste from his. I'm not going to take any of the credit of that thing. That thing is awesome, by the way, guys. Look at how much power we have going into this thing. And it's still not full. <laughs> so that's awesome. So before we go and discuss about that thing, I want to show you what I have going on in the background. So I went ahead and made a condenser right here. Super simple. Nothing to it. And then... What I'm doing is I'm throwing cobblestone into it to make these mana balls. Is it a mana ball? No, it was a sink. Oh, I did the wrong thing. Let's see. Yeah, that's what we're supposed to have. Whoopsies. So, I have it condensing that because we need that to make the, uh, the what you may call it, the, uh, quantum link so we can make a wireless so I did not know that that was that so I, I screwed up but it wouldn't be a link video without me screwing up so all right so this may take a little bit I mean we have so we have 62,000. This needs... Okay, that's a lot of freaking cobble. I thought we had two cobbles. Whatever. So this thing's working. Let's see if we have any speeds. Oh! Speed. Tier 2 speed will be pretty good. Okay. There we go. So we could probably just make another one of these and speed that up. I don't know if there's any other way to make cobblestone in here. Because I kind of just went through the... Because uh, we have to use some that we have or make stuff of cobbles. The easiest I have always used cobble. But there's no real easy way to do it from what I can see. So, I don't know. And it's 256K for it. So, technically, can we use iron nuggets? We could do nuggets, maybe. Let's see. Because we have 1.8 million milli coal. Holy crap. That's a lot of coal. All right, let's see. We are at that number. And it counts. I mean, do we have a export bus of some sort? We do. And do we have a abilities to make us the speed upgrades? Oh, and I forgot to open my window to the channel. Because Dalcam told me how to say his name, and he was yelling at me in the comments about how I'm not saying it right. And he also said we should uh, have some, some stuff ready to go. 
right, so let's just do that. Let's do this. Okay, and then we'll just get some. Can we even make the card? Because if we could put more in these, then you know, fly. Fly high, man. Alright, you craft that up. While you craft that up, we need to. Give me glass cables. Of course, this is temporarily, guys. We're not going to go uber quick on this. This ain't going to be permanent. This is just to get this up and running. There we go. I mean, 1.2 million, uh, 1.8 million mini coal is kind of redonkulous. I'm not going to lie to you. All right, where, what? So now, oh yeah, that bad boy's got to get flying. So what we did in the, the episode where I forgot to press the record button like a genius, and I was thinking about taking it down, but from what I heard, you do not want to take those things apart because there's a chance of it uh, polluting the area. But I'll put a link down below to Rage's setup. It's pretty sweet. Uh the the reactor itself is uh where's my paper where's my paper the reactor itself is a three by three by four and what i did is i pretty much set up everything we needed to craft in a system as you can see we got the rotated complex we have rotors blades um the valves all that beautiful stuff just crafted it all up Really not that difficult at this point in the game. We have all the stuff in stock. It knows how to make all the steel and all that. So that's good. And then we just built it. Oh my god. Let's turn that off for a second. Because <laughs> my ears are bleeding. Okay. So pretty much it's just this reactor casing. There's a valve here. A valve here. Two valves here. And then the back side is just glass, this reactor glass. Now inside, why is this percolating? Oh, 100%. Oh no. Why is this a hydra hat? Well, that's not good. That's not good at all. Oh god. The place is got to blow up. I haven't even ran it that long, I don't think. Let's see. We're gonna have to do something with all that nuke. Oh, we're just taking our waste. Um, waste. <laughs> Some steel. Yeah, I apologize for this. I actually was not aware of it. Did I even leave the game on? I don't even think I left the game on overnight for it to do that. That's weird. It's just steel. Oh, yeah. Why is it not showing up? Maybe I use a different steel? Yes, yes, I did. So we'll get that crafted up. I turned the reactor off, so we should be good. But yeah, this thing is pretty sweet. I mean, besides it being super loud, that I don't want to kill my ears. Um, But inside is a... Let's see if I can get a better look inside there we go again I kind of don't want to break it but inside of there boop, 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 is a fusion fissure fuel assembly and a control rod assembly and the control the crow uh, the, the control rod assembly is on top down there this one here is just one of the reactor ports um, this dude here um, you right click it with the wrench to change it to a waste out. This is another one of those ports, which we just left it like that because we're in putting the fuel in there. Then over here is two more ports. We actually have water coming from the turbine into here. And then we have coolant, which we use the wrench on to turn it to a coolant output into the turbine. Now, when this thing forms, we use the kitchen sink to fill up this buffer. It's 3.6 million millibuckets. That's a lot of freaking buckets, okay? 
Um, it's pretty cool. It's full of fuel right now. And so right now it's coolant, but it's actually just water. That's just water. And what it does is it turns this into steam, which we're kind of empty right now because it's like a closed loop system. I don't think this is going to show us. Uh, yeah. So there's that. Um, since it's such a small reactor, we can only burn one millibucket per tick. But when you first form it, it actually starts with a 0 0.1 as default. So I just increase it to that, and that is your max you can do with this reactor, which produces 34k joules. And uh, yeah, it's pretty cool. Now the cool thing is, if this thing gets super hot, it starts to damage itself, and if it damages itself to 100%, it go kaboom. At least that's what it seemed like. Um, you don't want that. So what you can do is turn it off and let it cool down, and once it cools down, it actually repairs itself. So that's kind of cool. And the thing I love about it, it has this really sweet little chart down here. I think that chart is pretty cool. Um, let's go grab those waste containers real quick. I did not know. Uh, you do have to do something with the waste. If not, it does get out of control. And I think it's it pollutes the area or something like that. So we're probably going to have to figure out, figure it out kind of curious if we can uh, move these things so I'm just gonna do something like that for now I don't know why it's not connected on the sides um, oh maybe it can only from the top and bottom yeah so it's 18% Okay. Hmm. And I don't know if you can break these things. Which now I'm like kind of afraid. But yeah, that's the reactor. Um, we also finally did what Al said to do, and that's to make the sleep charm right there. So now instant sleeps. Boop. Uh, we also have a magma torch because I got tired of mobs spawning next to me and bugging me. So I did a lot. I did a lot, guys. May not seem like it, but I did. Doo -doo -doo. Let's get some pressurized pressure. Let's spell it correctly. Let's get two of you and we'll go discuss the turbine. Turbine's actually pretty simple. Uh, the setup isn't, so highly recommend watching his video because I actually had to take a couple stops and stuff within that episode to figure it out. So we'll do that. And that should help us a little bit. Okay, that's why we had it off. But you see how the chart just shot up. But since this is a small reactor power and a small little turbine, we are pretty good. Now, I believe over time, this should go down slowly. Yeah, that, that looks right. All right, turbine. I'm not going to lie, it's very complicated. It looks easy, but I got confused really easily. So, outside frame, none but this turbine casing. Of course, we got to have the structural glass per Rage Games, he said. Put the you you you're not doing it right if you don't put the glass um, turbine. There's a rotor, and the more rotors you have, each rotor has two blades. So, ten blades, five rotor, and boom. And on top of there, that block right there is the rotator nine thousand. I don't know the technical rotational complex. Okay. And I really want to tear this thing apart, but I'm afraid that we're going to lose our stuff. So on top here, we have some vents. There's some vents here, 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 here. Uh, inside this bad boy, you see those blocks right there? Those are actually... Uh, where are they at? These saturating condensers. 
And then inside of there, there's actually three of these magnetic electromagnetic coils, and that's actually what generates the power. Um, pretty simple, straightforward to make all this stuff, just so you know. Um, two ports, turbine valve here for power, boom. And I also switched this to disable limit, so there's no limit to this thing. And then this one here is actually where the steam inputs and then the water comes out the top. So, yeah, I think it comes out pretty good. Let's switch this. Oh my God, I don't know if there's a way to turn that off. <laughs> Cause my eardrums will be a bleeding. Now, I believe you could take that nuclear waste and convert it into something, but I don't remember what you can convert it into. So, I have to go and see what is it. I think it's called polonium or something. Polonium. There we go. But what we're trying to get is this bad boy today. Maybe next episode we'll get it. Let's, I'm kind of curious now. Polonium. 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 Um, polonium. Water. Um, separate. Spent nuclear waste, polonium is nuclear waste, and then solar neutron activator. Can we even make this thing? Asking for a friend. <laughs> um, I think we have some of those, don't we? Don't we? Like that's a byproduct of something. These things. I'm pretty sure it's these things. Can we smelt them? Nope. <laughs> Excuse me. I just got finished eating dinner. I apologize. Because um, I pooped myself when I realized that we had no freaking uh, video. Yeah. Alright, so we do need to make this thing, but that's a lot of work. <laughs> uh, let's see pressurizer let's get rid of you so we need a couple tanks are we really making this thing I think we're really going to make this thing enrichment chamber um, really casing we don't really need a whole lot of this because I'm just going off a base of his video from the off my mind, so you know it's already incorrect. Do, do, do. Oh, we're so close. It's going to be amazing. Oh, I forgot we put weed up there. I'm like, what the heck? It's like, what's going to be finished first? Alright. Oh, enrichment chamber. Um, yeah. Okay. Steel. Let's go ahead and craft ten of those. Let's go ahead and craft. What was that part? That was just the uh, circuit? No, alloy. Yeah, he, uh, I believe it was him, too, that said to make a ton of these things and keep them in stock because you do use them a lot. And he does make a good sense about that. So we're probably going to have to do what he says. All right. So this thing is just to make these things, which are need oxygen and liquid ethanol. Oh, no. Oh no. Oh no. Let's see. That does hydrogen, oxygen. Um, this is ethanol, I believe. Right? It's just ethylene. Ethylene. So 
So if we do that, we're gonna hit, do that. Um, for now, we'll just do that. Okay. Uh, this one says red. Oh, did I click the wrong one? Or is that a... Uh, I'm so confused. Alright, so that can't go in here. We're gonna need a condenser. Dude. Alright, so what is involved in getting a condenser? I love being distract di dis distracted words. <laughs> All right, we don't need you anymore. We need you. So we need a tank, a gas tank, this thing, roller condenser, check. Um, we need hardened cables, if I remember correctly, because those are what we've been using. I hope I have enough room for this. Ethanine. Okay. Uh huh. I'm so spoiled with the cables that you can walk through. Y'all don't even know. Let's do that. And. What are we looking like? Where are we at? Where are we at? Where are we at? Aha! I found the problem. This is temporary anyway. It's not going to be there forever. It's just to make a couple of these pellets. Um, yes. You know, since we switched over to cable, I haven't had the problem with the AE where it's not getting power. So, I think it might be the mechanism pipes connecting to everything. There we go. Boom, boom. I already hear sawing noises. Alrighty. So, that should make you... Which that is a liquid now. Perfect. Which is you. And now we just need to find that oxygen tank. Ho oh, ho ho ho. Future proofing links a genius. Alright, we're just gonna throw all that junk in there. Um some pressurized stuffs. You know, Dire Wolf is a really smart dude. And, um, I'm a pretty smart dude, too. Don't get me wrong. But sometimes I'd rather be lucky than, uh, good. Right? No. Um... Gas import import. There we go. Sometimes it's good to be lucky, guys. Like I said, this is all temporarily. We are gonna lose some power once that thing runs out of fuel, but for right now, I don't really care. Um, we're probably good. So that should be getting fuel back in, I think. And then these need to go in a Richmond chamber. All right, perfect. 
Perfect. Okay. So now... Okay, we're pretty close now. Okay. I'm perfectly fine with this. Bronze. How do you make bronze? Copper and tin. I should have known that. From my days of forestry. <laughs> have y'all tested out the uh, bees mod? I've been, I've been kind of... Wanted to, I was thinking maybe trying it out or something. I don't know. Uh, I haven't really watched any Let's Plays on it. I've been wanting to, but I just don't feel like it. Because it kind of gives it away if I wanted to do a series on it. And I want to be like fresh and new. But uh, let me know what y'all think of that, that B uh, quest pack thing. Uh, we need the uh, alloy. Yeah, no. The circuit. Like I said, I really want to kind of try it out, maybe do a, a series. But the thing is, in the past, I have never finished a um, quest pack. I think I finally only finished like two or three of them in my lifetime. And I, I really want to get on the ball with the uh, finishing them. So whatever quest pack I do next, it's going to be a full-blown series. We're not going to quit until it's done, even if we lose the views. But I do want to thank you guys for watching. I love the I love the the comments. Yeah, yelled at me in the comments because I asked to do it, and that's that's just an awesome feeling. And I want to thank all y'all for taking the time out of your day to spend with me playing Minecraft. Minecraft is pretty relaxing, even though sometimes I rage a little bit. <laughs> all right, so we need pressurized tubes. Let's go to sleep. Sleep charm best thing if i could have sleep charm and time in a bottle it's game over it's game over oh. <laughs> all right so if we learned anything that these things are massively full okay okay That's funky. Oh. Rotate. Okay. Uh, let's... I could turn the block sounds down. If y'all want. Okay. Is that not right? That's gotta be right, right? Pressurized. Is there a waste? No. Did that do anything? No. Hmm. Well, it's not filled up with anything. I guess I can pick it up and move it, huh? Uh, place it on top maybe okay whatever <laughs> alright so now we got this pololeum what just happened oh it it ate through that pretty quick okay I'm really tempted to break one of these Four percent can't hurt, right? 
Oh, it killed me. It was bad. It was bad. We did a bad. Oh, God. What's killing me? Did I just ruin a game? I kind of don't want to go too far because I have to go get my grave. Is it killing my chickens? Is it because this is in my hand? Chuck it. Nope, it's not because that's in my hand. My chickens and stuff are not dying, so it just must be me. <laughs> was killed with radiation poison. <laughs> uh, ain't nothing like a link video when he dies. See, guys, I do that so y'all learn a, a lesson. That's that's the only reason why I do that. I do it for you guys. I don't know where I chucked that thing out. Alright, so we don't get radiation poison from this thing. Which is fine. Oh my gosh. Link, you big dummy. You just had to break it. Now we probably can't even go in that area because it's now all death. Here we go again. I don't see it when I press it. That, there it is. It's just super light for some reason. And what he said is you can actually bury that and over time it goes away. So we're just going to use these five. And just bury it because I don't think you could do anything with it. Oh, yeah, this whole area. How is he not affected by that? That's not fair. All right, so here's the... Is there a radiation suit? Well, I can see the name of this video is going to be Link Messed Up Again. Uh, hazard suit. Hazard suit. There is a hazard suit. There's two hazard suits. Okay. I guess if we got to, we got to. I mean, I uh, I can't die. Again, from radiation point. I don't know how you get rid of that radiation point. And maybe it just goes away over time. So it's probably a good thing we did burn the uh, the four percent one. Um, do I not have yellow? Flowers. What are the yellow flowers called? Have I ever even made a porter in this? Hmm. Guess we should just make this thing. Okay. And then. Oh, there we go. There we go. Perfect. 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 I guess technically we can just use orange flowers. And then we can just make the suit. And there's no mob spawning over there, so we shouldn't die. go we are gonna be slow though man I am a big dumb dumb we should be fine with this suit on um I guess we'll just fill it in the top like this. Luckily, I did this now and not later, and I'm kind of glad I didn't uh, destroy it to show y'all. Cool. So 
So, what did we learn today, class? Don't do what I did. <laughs> now, I think every minute this goes down by one millipocket, I think. I'm not too sure about that. Oh, God, my eardrums are bleeding. How are y'all not dead? Y'all soldiers. But yeah, guys, I'm going to call that an episode. We die by radiation poison. That's good. Next episode, we'll work on the quantum entanglement 9000. And we'll, we'll dive a little bit further into that. But until then, guys, stay safe out there. Don't play with radioactivity. And until next time, peace.